Hello class 7 welcome back to another session of computer class This is Abhijit sir and today I will be presenting you the topic Ethics and Safety Measures in Computing Part 2 Computing Ethics Now in the last class, I have already explained you the advantages and disadvantages of internet. So today, we will learn some moral principles while using the internet. So we must be aware of the basic moral principles that regulate the use of computers while using the internet. The following ethical practices must be kept in mind while we use the computers or internet. The first practice that we must keep in mind is the internet should not be used to intentionally harm other people. and individual privacy should not be invaded so you must not see someone's personal messages or work pirated software must not be used so we should always prevent to use the duplicate softwares that are sold in the market at cheaper prices. Proper permissions and credit should be given to the author before sharing any information. So while we share someone's information or someone's personal documents, we must always take permission from him and we must always give him the credit we should not show as our work. Personal comments and posts should not be made. Chain letters, rumors, and sensitive issues must not be forwarded. So there are many messages which come in the name of God to forward this message and you will be blessed or you will be uh, getting some money within a week time we should stop forwarding this type of letters unauthorized downloading storing or replicating must be avoided students should access the computer under the strict supervision of parents because there are certain uh, sites which are very disturbing which may disturb the young mind so we should always work on the computer under the strict supervision of parents avoid getting addicted to the services of internet now there are so many sites like social networking sites facebook instagram whatsapp we should not be addicted we should not waste our time in these uh, type of social networking sites so we should use internet uh, say for educational purpose or to know some information about educations only we, we should use the internet for these purposes. Unethical practices. Now there are many persons who are involved in unethical practices. The terms we should know, we should know the meaning of each and every terms. So the first term is 
Okay, some of the ethical practices related to the internet that are prevalent in the society are plagiarism. The first term is plagiarism. It is the act of taking someone's work and passing it as their own work, which we generally do. What we do is we copy someone's work from the internet and we show it as our own work. This is an unethical practice. We should we should not do and even if we do, we should always try to give the credit to the person whose work it is. So plagiarism, an act of presenting another person's work or idea as your own. Next term is cyberbullying. It is the act of frightening someone using threatening means like bad words, bad language, send violent pictures. Next is hacking. It is the act of breaking into someone's computer or computer network. The aim is to steal another person's file or computer to take the valuable assets or informations. Not only this, they also hack someone's personal bank account and credit card pins or password and thus they can take uh, all the money from your account. So these are unethical practices. Next is phishing. It is the act of cheating by using email to get a person to reveal their personal data. In phishing, a, a look-alike email is sent to a person. So exactly the same uh, email is sent to a person, which look very similar. Which you, by seeing it, you, you'll think that it is my someone sent by my friends. Okay. So asking the persons to click. Now, when we click on the link, then what happens? When the cheater gets their login details or account information, and thus they will try to hack your account and thus they will take away the money from your account. Next is spamming. There is the act of sending unsolicited email to large number of people. Spamming is used for advertising. Spam mail is also used to send harmful worms and malware yes generally in spamming you will find the malicious softwares which will harm your computer it's uh, it will violate your computer next is software piracy now it is illegal downloading of software or file game movies and photo editing program and what it does is it will copy all the files, the music files or the movie files from the original software and they will make a CD and will sold in the market much cheaper price. So we should not purchase pirated software. It may harm your computer, it, they may also send the virus. So when we uh, download this type of software, it may harm our computer. Next is intellectual property rights. Now these are the works of mind such as books. So authors, those who write the books, films, formulas, those who create formulas, those who develop in new inventions and music. So it's the intellectual property rights that are owned or created by a single person or a group of 
people and these type of uh, intellectuals uh, whatever they create it is copyright copyrighted so copyright laws protect the art book and films and music so if anybody uh, make a copy of these uh, books or movies and uh, they may be behind the bars if they are caught and the patent laws protects the inventions the discoveries that are made so there is a law called patent law that protects the inventions next is individual right to privacy it is the right to protect our personal domain such as our body home property thoughts feelings and identity the individual can choose and decide what can be accessed so what type of sites can be accessed by others and to what extent so these are some of the terms which i hope you will remember these terms and its meaning hope you all have understood the lesson the different terms that is used and the unethical practices we must not follow so you have learned just now what are the unethical practices plagiarism software piracy intellectual property rights so this type of unethical practices we should not follow we will soon meet in our next session till then take care this is your avdeep sir signing off